make glad the city of our God. Oh, there is a river whose stream make glad the city of our God. Oh, just sing that with me. There is a river. There is a river whose stream make glad the city of our God. One more time, there is a river. Oh, there is a river whose stream make glad the city of our God. And I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. Oh, I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. Oh, there is a fountain. There is a fountain full of grace, full of grace. And it flows from Emmanuel's veins. Oh, and it came and it healed me. Oh, it came and it healed me. It came refreshed and refreshed me. It came more and washed and washed my sins away. And I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice, and I will rejoice and be glad. Oh, there is a river whose stream make glad the city of our God. Whose stream make glad the city of our God? And I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice, I will rejoice. I will rejoice. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Oh, when it came and it healed me, it came, refreshed me, it came, and it washed my sins away. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad. Oh, and I will rejoice, and I will rejoice, and be glad. Oh, it's a fountain, Lord God. Oh, it's filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. And, and everyone who's plunged beneath that blood loose all their guilty stains. Oh, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from have been plunged beneath that flood. Oh, and it's washed all of our sins away. Oh, the blood now. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Oh, precious is that flow. Oh, precious is 
that flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And Satan, the blood of Jesus is a game. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. So let us give God. So let us give God. So let us give God all of the praise. Give God the glory. Victory, oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming love. He loved me ere I knew him. Now all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the flint. Hey. Good evening. We welcome you to the 6 p.m. watch tonight. It's been a journey. We rejoice in the Lord tonight for all that he has done. We have come through a pathway with the Lord from the 515 to the 50 days of counting the Omer through the Daniel watch and into this portal watch. And what we'll be doing next week, we haven't heard yet, so stay with us. We thank you all for being with us on the web. We welcome you, every nation. And we just say, Lord, we just thank you for what we have done. We thank you, Lord, that we have ascended into new places with you during this time. We thank you that you have given us the faith for the supernatural realm. And we step in tonight again, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you have touched us as you did Mary. And we believe that things are going to be birthed in this hour as you breathe upon us, Lord. We have sought you to receive the remove the idols from our life, Lord. And we say that you are the one that is enthroned upon our praises tonight. And, Lord, we come now to lift you up. We come to exalt you, Lord. We come to minister your, to your spirit, Lord. And in those praises, Lord, we just seek to bless you and to exalt you above everything else in our lives and everything else. We come in tonight fully in, as we have said before, Lord. We focus on you and you alone, and we say there are no other gods before us this evening, Lord. And, Lord, we thank you that with new revelation comes a new picture of you. So, Lord, we thank you for the word that Linda brought yesterday that says that worship catapults us to the new revelation. So, Lord, we come to worship you tonight and to see you anew, to look with new eyes and to see you bright and shining, Lord. We thank you that this is the month that we are to be brilliant in our worship. <laughs> and we were just moved to look up the definition of that word, and brilliant. It means shining. It means glittering. It means a luster. So tonight we come and we want to be shining before you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you and we thank you. Father, tonight as we come, Lord, uh, even as Linda shared yesterday, Lord, about dealing with the idolatries, places, idolatrous places in our heart and our life, Lord. Father, we thank you that as we have renounced and repented, Lord, and received your forgiveness, Lord, we, Father, we speak over those portals of that occult uh, place, Lord, that was opened in our lives, Lord, and we thank you for those being closed now in the name of Jesus, and we thank you for we can come into a place, Lord, of this portal, and we can worship you and hear you, Lord, that we can hear from your throne, Lord, that we can hear your revelation without mixture, Lord, without hearing the others, so, Lord, we agree tonight, we speak. Lord, over those portals that were bringing conflicting messages, that were bringing confusion, we say that in the name of Jesus and through the blood that they're closed. And we thank you tonight for that place of revelation, Lord, released in Jesus' name. 
And Father, I thank you that your word to us in, in, Isaac, in um, Revelation 4 and your word even at Mount Sinai in Exodus 19, Lord, that when you released, when you released the shofar of the Lord, when you released the sound, Lord, you gave us summons to come up. And so, Lord, tonight we just want to say, Lord, from we hear that door open, we hear the voice of that from the heavens, Lord, saying, come up. And, Lord, from the earth we want to respond through this portal tonight, Lord. And we want to hear your summons of the shofar. And, Father, we want to come up into that heavenly place of worship as it talks about in Revelation 4. So, Lord, we thank you, we welcome, we respond to your summons tonight. Would you give that defini definition that you gave? Was that for brilliant? The definition was for brilliant. It means bright and shining, glittering, and full of luster. Full of luster. I, I'm, I'm reminded of David's worship leaders who were described as just about what you're, you're saying there. Uh, uh, Lucifer, who was the worship leader in heaven, was a bright light that that uh, sh showed forth the glory of God but he uh, he got a little too bright and he fell and there were no replacement for him until David's tabernacle and David David appointed worship leaders and he called well the Bible calls them chief musicians and so I looked that up because I figured it would be from the two Hebrew words meaning chief and musician, but it was not. It was from one Hebrew word, natsach, which means a glowing light in the distance, kind of like a lighthouse that leads the way. It's like it's like what ships have in the darkness. They look and they see a light. It's not the bright light of Lucifer, but it is a glimmering, glowing, lustrous light that leads in a direction and so worship leaders what their job was to lead people in the direction of the lord not be the light themselves that that uh, lucifer wanted to be but to be a light that leads people into the presence of god amen to be close, close to your side, so heaven is real and death is a lie. I want to hear voices of angels above singing as one.
your name is great. And tonight we bring you an offering of incense, Lord. We bring you an offering as your word calls us to do that in every place in the land, your name shall be great. We bring you an offering tonight. We bring you a sacrifice of praise. We bring you an offering tonight. We bring you a sacrifice of praise. Tonight we're gonna we're pressing. We're gonna continue to press because the Lord I heard him say the other day reminded me of the old hymn, Higher Ground. And this were a couple of the stanzas in that hymn. And so tonight we say, Lord, we're not staying by back. We're pressing on with you. We're pressing the higher ground. And these were a couple of the words that I looked up and it said, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. We say we are gaining new heights. We're not staying where the place where we've been. We're not staying constrained. It said, still praying as I'm on upward, onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. And then this stanza was amazing. It says, I want to live above the world, though Satan's darts at me are hurled. For faith has caught the joyful sound, the song of saints on higher ground. So, Lord, we thank you that we have a song to sing of joyful saints on higher ground, that we were not where we were yesterday. We're not where we were last week. We're not where we were last month, that we're pressing on to higher ground and there's a joyful sound of the saints on this higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay, still pressing on that onward bound. My hope, my heart is higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven's table land. A higher place than I have found. My heart, my hope is higher ground. Lord, we lift you up. Lord, we're going to go higher and higher and higher. Our heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Lord, we're looking to oh Lord, the higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. My heart, my hope is higher ground. And Lord, we just say we're going to take our stand on that higher ground. Lord, we say we are going to be lifted up where Christ is, seated with God in heavenly places. We're going to be looking down on the circumstances. We're going to be looking down on the things of this world, the things that are happening all around us. We're going to be looking down at the realm of the scene. And we're going to be believing in those things that we cannot see. But our faith is assured of those things that we cannot see. But we believe by faith because you have spoken it to us. You have spoken it to us. Who? Violet and I are continually having to get on higher ground. And uh, circumstances present themselves to us from very high places in government where she has to deal with. And we have to get above that. And we say, Lord, you are higher than our governmental officials. And you are the one who is determining which way this thing is going to go. Now, that takes a lot of getting up there, I believe, sometimes. Yeah. But we have to do it. We continually have to do it. And, Lord, we say we are your intercessors to stand in this place to bring forth what you want in that gap. Because even though they think they're in charge, they're not, are they, Linda? I've been 
in a, a situation with a friend that has just been so complicated and sticky and it just seemed like every day some new complication would come into it and the other night I was just distressed and I couldn't sleep so I got up and the Lord said if you will start to worship me I will show you how you need to pray because I would think well should we pray this way well if we pray that way what about this you know and you get into that thing where you see all these components and you don't know where to start so I just started to worship and I began to worship and uh, just you know not try to figure it out and as I was worshiping the Lord just highlighted a single individual and he said, here's what is happening with this person who's involved in it. And he showed me, they're going to try to do this. And the Lord said, worship me. And as I did, I saw an angel come and just stand in front of him. And as he tried to go, the angel would just say, uh-uh, you're not going this way. And then he said, now he's going to try to connect this way. And I began to worship and I could see, oh, I could see how that connection would work there. And I saw an angel come in and begin to just confuse it. And as much as they tried to connect, it would not work. And then I saw him try to connect a different way. And the Lord said, um, I saw an angel come. I worshiped. I saw an angel come. And the Lord said, now this person that he tries to connect with is going to see through him. And they're going to see exactly what he's trying to do and the mess he's trying to create. And they are going to be almost like a secret agent that's getting information from him as he's trying to keep this whole thing stirred up and keep it in turmoil. And then I saw him try to turn back the other way. And there was an angel there that was convicting him of sin. And it was like no matter what he tried to do, this angel was stirring his spirit and pricking his conscience so that he could not uh, do what he was trying to do to my friend. And I just thought, Lord, I would have never imagined praying that way for those particular people involved in this whole complicated thing that's going on. But as I prayed and as I worshipped, it wasn't even like I was figuring it out. It was like I was watching what God was doing through my worship. So, God, we thank you that you are taking us to a higher place. You're taking us to a form of intercession we've not been in before, where our intercession is releasing angels, and we don't even know what we're saying. We don't even understand what's happening. You're letting us in on, on the vision of what you're doing. But God, we just acknowledge and when you said, come up and worship me, that you would start doing things that we could never do through our own uh, thoughts, our own plans. Uh, Lord, we couldn't decree them into place if we, if we spoke all night. But God, through, through a time of worship, you could position things the way they needed to be positioned for your purposes to go forward. God, we honor you. We praise you. Lord, help us to get in that flow of worship where we see what you're accomplishing through that worship. All I am is all I have. And all I give it all to you. It's my fragrant bowl. It's my costly perfume. I take my alabaster box now. I break it open. Let the fragrance arise. La, 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 la. Let the fragrance arise, lie, 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 lie. Oh, let the fragrance arise, lie, 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 lie. Oh, let the fragrance arise, lie, 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 lie. Oh, so 
So take every song, every spoken word. So take every song, every spoken All of my dance, all of my dance and my rhyme, all of my rhyme. I give it all. I give it all to It's my fragrant oil. It's my fragrant oil. Costly perfume. It's my costly perfume. I take my box. Take my alabaster box and I, I break it open. So let the fragrance arise. Lie, 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 lie. Lie, lie, lie. You know, as John is singing this, I was thinking about when Mary took the alabaster, took the oil, and began to pour it on the Lord's feet. There were mockers that stood and said, how can you pour out that costly perfume? And there will be mockers in this hour, in this time. But we arise above the voices within the land and the voices that seemingly are in our atmosphere. And we arise to a place where we know what we are pouring out. We know that we are honoring the King of Kings, the one who is worthy, just as Mary did when she poured that costly perfume out. Our lives were a cost to him, and he's asking us to pour them out and ascend to a height where we never even thought or imagined we could be at. And yes, there will be sounds, there will be things that will stand against us, but greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater is the Lord God Almighty. Greater is the one who was and is and is to come. There is nothing that can stand against our God. Oh. You know, several years ago, Chuck uh, took me to a meeting that uh, it was a meeting of leaders and um, uh, they didn't have any worship uh, on the schedule, but Chuck wanted me to go. Because Chuck won't go without worship. And so Chuck puts me up in front of all these people who don't want to worship. And they're looking and say, we're, we're wasting our time here. We have things to do. And this guy's standing up here wanting to sing songs. But you know what? We were wasting some time on God. We had important things to do. But Chuck said, no, we're going to waste some time. We're going to waste some important minutes here. We're going to break open this alabaster box very costly because there's so much that we could get accomplished right here, but we're going to waste it. We're just going to open it up and waste it. And we began to waste our time, and God began to fill our time and make our time useful. And I went back year after year after year for about 10 years, and by the time, by the by the, by the end of that time, that season with them, they were anxious. The first thing they wanted to do, these were all very, I mean, they could get a lot done in a, in a, in a small amount of time. And the first thing they wanted me to do, John, get up there and let's worship the Lord. And so it turned them all around. Lord, we want to waste ourselves. Lord, we bring our box. Lord, it's costly. We could be doing something else right now, Lord God, but we want to waste ourselves on you. Lord, we can't. We just come and break our alabaster box before you right now, Lord God. something chuck said sunday he was praying he said lord show us a new dimension of love so faith can explode and you know he always talks about how faith is buoyant and i'm just seeing that this new dimension of faith that the lord is pressing us into is buoyant is causing our worship to rise in new ways it is putting a buoyancy under our worship that hasn't been there before. That's why Linda 
went to places in worship and and moved in a way that it, it, there was a door of worship that unlocked that hadn't been unlocked before. So, Father, I just thank you tonight, God, for what you are doing in faith in us, Lord, and where that faith, that wind of faith is blowing our worship to new heights. God, that wind of faith is causing our worship to explode. It is causing it to permeate, Father, into places where it has not permeated before. Father, I thank you that a new faith, Lord, buoying up our worship, Lord, into the heavenlies, Father, is causing us to be able to see things we hadn't seen, to understand. Father, I thank you for those new dimensions that are being unlocked because we are worshiping you from a new place of faith. the Lord say today that he wanted to enlarge our hearts and as Lisa was sharing part of the I looked up the word uh, for enlarged and it says to be extended in dimension to be expanded and to be released from confinement or straits and so, Father, we say tonight, Lord, expand and enlarge our hearts. Father, that we can contain more worship for you so we can pour out more worship to you, Lord. Father, that we're those things that have confined us even in worship, Lord. Even in this world, Lord, where we've been confined, Lord, we say, Father, we thank you that you would enlarge us and we would be extended into a new dimension, Lord, even in our hearts, Lord. And so, Father, we thank you tonight, Lord. We say, enlarge us, Lord. If I, it says in Psalm 119, verse 32, I will run the course of your commandments, for you shall enlarge my heart. Lord, enlarge our heart that may we run after you. What's that song, No Limits, No Boundaries? I'm going to see if I can find out real quick. I see increase. All around me, break forth, break forth. There it is. No limits. No limits. I'll get it here. Technology. Okay, here we go. No limits. No boundaries. I see increase. All around me, stretch forth, stretch forth, break forth, break forth, release me, release me, enlarge, enlarge my territory, no limits, no limits, no boundaries, no boundaries, I see increase, I see increase. All around me, stretch forth, stretch forth, break forth, release me, release me, enlarge my territory, take the limits off, now here we go, take the limits off, we'll sing it again, take the limits off, release me, release me, Take the limits off. Take the limits off. Release me. Oh, release me. Take the limits off. Whoa, take the limits off. Take the limits off. Release me. Release me. We're going to ask God to show us um, what we need to be released, the limits that are should come off. Now, Linda was been she's been teaching us on uh, idols and those idols in our life. Sometimes they will bind us up and they will put limitations on us, and we can't go any further because we have an idol in our life. So. Lord, right now we just ask that you begin to bring forth into our hearts, Lord. Begin to show us things that we didn't even know of, Lord God, that are idols in our life and that are making limitations on us. We just ask, Lord, where Satan has spoken into us a limitation and we haven't even realized 
it's it's the voice of Satan, but we just give this to you, Lord God. We ask that you enlighten us, Lord God. Take the limits off. Take the limits off. Release me. Lord, I say that you're going to take the limits off of our heart right now. And what I heard is you release that word. The Lord said, no one knows the cost of your alabaster box, but I do. And in this hour, as I enlarge your heart, I'm going to call you to a new height and a new strength and a new power in me. And those things that I placed in you, even when I breathed you out, it is the time of that birthing. It is the time for those things to come forth. So as you allow me to take the limits off of you, you will see my breath bring those things forward in Jesus' name. Yes, oh, take the limits off. What I heard with Linda's testimony was this. The Lord immediately took that, brought that scripture up that says, and they, the true worshipers, worship me in spirit and truth. And what I saw when the Lord said to Linda, just worship me, it was the connecting point. It was the portal that caused her spirit to unite with the spirit of heaven, with the spirit of God. And it was through that revelation, through that interaction and intersection of spirit to spirit, that all of a sudden the things in the natural that were on her heart and on the hearts on the heart of the Lord, began to be laid out before her. So, Lord, right now, teach us. Teach us, Lord, by your Spirit, how to connect more firmly, spirit to spirit, as we come before you, Lord. Let the thoughts of our mind, the emotions of our heart, be laid aside so that our spirit in which you created us as a worshiper to you in that spirit man of individually and corporately, Lord, that we step into that realm, into that dimension that they were just prophesying about that says, I am walking and moving upward by faith and not by sight, letting go of what we have known and stepping into the unknown, stepping into that realm to see those things that we've never seen before to experience from the Spirit of God those things that you are calling us to walk in. Supernatural ability beginning to flow, Lord, unhindered through your people to move into kingdom release in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Lord, move us into the supernatural, Lord God. We're all too comfortable in the natural with a little bit of supernatural popping in every once in a while but lord we ask that you move us to where we walk on that higher ground we don't just get up there and come back down but we want to walk we want to walk we want to walk on higher ground we want to walk we want to walk we want to walk on higher ground oh we want to walk we want to walk we want to walk on higher ground oh we want to walk we want to walk, we want to walk on higher ground. Amen. Now, the Lord's been showing me for a while about his highways in the heavens. And he ha- is making these highways. It's just like jet airline paths. You know, the jet airlines, once they get up on those highways, they don't have to slow down for traffic. They don't have to stop at stop signs. They don't get clogged in the five o'clock rush hour and so the lord is wanting us to get up off of where we are off of the uh, of the highways that we have limited ourselves to and find those highways that are in the heavens that we can that the angels use they are portals and pathways lord we are asking for portals and pathways we are asking that you get us up on higher ground lord god we are asking that you get us up till we continually look down Look down, look down on the circumstances. Look down on the facts that are before us. Lord God, look down on the things that the earth has. Lord God, but we are up with you and our faith. Lord, lift us up and let us stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane. Then I have bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. No limits, no boundaries, I see increase all around me. 
you stretch for stretch forth break forth release me enlarge my territory no limit no boundaries I see increase all around me stretch forth Break for release me, enlarge my territory. that this is the month that we are to worship in brilliance. And Lord, you've shown us how to ascend and we want to ascend. It is our heart's desire to ascend, Lord, and to be with you. That word brilliant is not only an adjective and a verb, but it is a noun. And when you look it up, you will find that it is actually a diamond. The word brilliant is a diamond and it's cut in the finest way. It is formed into angles so as to refract the light which renders it to be more glittering with thousands of facets to have exceptional brilliance. That is us, people. We are all Judah. Every word that we speak and every song that we sing, every sound that utters from us is Judah. And God is calling us to worship. Now I say that you are all a diamond. If you have allowed the Lord to take you through this process, through all of this prayer journey, God has cut you, God has shaped you, and God has formed you. And it is your time to shine. 
Lord, we say that your light has cut through us to the deepest part, Lord. We open ourselves and we allow you to continue this work in us, Lord. We say that we shine for you, Lord, that we want to be brilliant this month in our worship. For, Lord, it is not about us. It is about you, Lord. So cut away all those things that are not of you, God, and cause us to be bright and reflect you. For the glory of the Lord is on you. And the glory of the Lord is seen. For the glory of the Lord is on you. Upon you. So arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord is upon you. So arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord is upon you. Oh, you are bearers of the light. Yes, and you are bearers of the light. You are bearers of the light. You are bearers of the light. Oh, yes, you are. You are bearers of the light. You are bearers of the light. You are bearers of the light. Yes, you are. You are bearers of the light. You know, I keep hearing fear speaking. And the reality is that it has no power to hold you back. No one can draw you up to that place. It is only by our faith and by our obedience that we go up to a higher place. And I thank you, Lord, that even right now, there is such a brilliance that is coming in to the weed bed where fear has tried to reside. And there is a rendering void of that and a loosing of your people to begin to ascend in an all-new way. And as you even take one step to enter in, suddenly it's like a brilliant white light begins to go forth and penetrate and penetrate. And again, it begins to penetrate. That's how easy it is. We are of the light. He is the light within us. We don't have to do anything with it, but just take those steps in worship and begin to see that you are emanating out a great light that comes from him. It is the spirit dwelling within us that is emanating the light of the world through us as we go forth. Hi. Jesus, take me higher. Jesus, light my fire. Higher and higher. Whoa. Take me higher. Oh, take me higher. Oh, Jesus. asking the Lord if I could or should share this and I believe he's given me a release too. In Ezekiel when it talks about starts out talking about the king of Tyre and then it goes into a description of Lucifer before the fall. And the scriptures say that every precious stone was his covering. And I asked the Lord I said what does that mean? What did that look like? One time as I was studying it He said, well, what is your covering, your physical covering? And I said, it's skin. And he said, well, it looked like that. He looked every precious stone was his covering. And the the word says that the tablets, the temperance, the, the instruments were within him. And when he lifted his voice to worship, when he began to worship, the, he was the light bringer. 
And the moment he released worship to the Lord, the light, which is there is no darkness in heaven, the light began to refract just like a, Uh, She was talking about the diamond. It began to bounce through him. And then the, the scripture says that it looked like or he was walking in stones of fire. And that's exactly what it looked like. This, the light came through the jewel, through the jewel tones. The light was refracted, and it looked like he was standing in the midst of fiery stones. So the Lord says, when you lift your worship to me, as these jewels that they just read that scripture about, as you are the jewel that I have, that I have put in the earth, as a worshiper, he said, the light cannot help but be refracted through you. The Lord said, these are the days for my people to shine. These are the days for my kingdom to be examined and released, uh, to be explained and released, not by words, not by words, but by the power of that light that is coming through them. So, Lord, right now we say, cause us to begin to conceive in our spirit the strength of the worship, Lord, that you are pouring out through your people, that light will flow from us in every direction, that kingdom will be examined, will be uh, exemplified, Lord, in the earth. These are the days for the sons and daughters of of God to arise and begin to uh, act just like Jesus did, begin to move in this earth in greater Things will be accomplished, will be released as we move, but it'll all come through that worship. Now tonight, I just feel led to do this, Mary Beth, Mildred. I want us to repent because we walked in here and the Lord said worship. Linda gave an example, a beautiful example of what kind of revelation comes. And then we began to release and teach things. And the Lord said it was a worship time. So I want us to, Father, I repent and I ask you, Lord, that when you're calling for worship, when you're telling us the way to victory is worship, Lord, let not our own thoughts, our own things become a hindrance to those, uh, to that worship. Now, Lord, I ask you right now to begin to lift us up. We ascend, Lord, by your voice that says, come up here. We arise, Lord, because you're calling that. So, Lord, right now, I say, this is a portal open by worship. It's a portal that's kept open by worship. It's a portal that heaven and earth meet in. And so, Lord, we just thank you that this place is full of worship, spirit worship, spirit of truth worship that comes out of your people and that great and mighty things are demonstrated here in Jesus' name. Here we are Come before the throne of grace Here we are, God Come before the mercy seat I can see the lightning, I can feel the thunder, I can hear the voices proceeding from your throne. I can see the lightning, I can feel the thunder, I can hear the voices proceeding from your throne. And 24 elders bowing down. Casting down their crowns of gold Poor living creatures crying out Day and night, night and day And only one word comes to mind There's only one word to describe. Only one word comes to mind. There's only one word to describe. Holy, holy. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Oh, holy, 
is the Lord God Almighty. Oh, 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 saints adore you. All the saints adore you. God in three persons. God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. God of wonders beyond our galaxy. You are holy. You are holy, holy, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth, yeah. hallelujah, for the Lord of heaven and earth, to the Lord of heaven and earth, hallelujah, to the Lord of heaven and earth. Oh, 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 oh. oh Lord, how beautiful. Your face is all I see, and when your eyes are on this child, your grace abounds for me. Let me sing that again. Oh, Lord, you're beautiful.
We're going to continue to worship here, but we're going to lose you on the web. We thank you for joining us tonight. We thank you that we have a God of mercy and a God who loves us no matter what the day looks like. We thank you for coming. We bless you all. And we say that this is a month when our worship needs to be brilliant. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your help in Jesus' name. I will give you all my worship. I will give you all my praise. You alone I long to worship. You alone are worthy of my praise. I will give. Lord, have 